Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying two items from Venero's. Uh, it's called Venero's Pasticceria and Cafe. They are located in New York City. Um, as you can see on East 11th Street in New York City, Dan and Connie uh, sent us this incredible gift from them. Uh, they they mail through um, Venero's um, uh, Venero's uh, mails through Gold Belly, and so that's how we got it through Gold Belly. But we're going to be trying the Rainbow Cookies, and I'll just give you a close up of these right here. And we are going to be trying cannolis. So this is how they come you get uh, the, the Rainbow Cookies were actually in one box, and then the cannolis are in a different box. You get the cannolis are each uh, the Shells are individually well. There's two in a to a package, and then there's they have one of these. This is a six pack, and then you get the uh, frosting. You get the filling. You get a vanilla filling, and it looks like there's chocolate chip, but it's called vanilla. And then you get a chocolate. So it gave um, when you open these up, it gives you instructions on how to fill the cannoli. So I'm just going to try to uh, to do what they say. So they say, uh, take one of your shells. And then they say, cut an inch off the tip, which I mean, how much is an inch? Is that an inch? Close enough. Close enough. And then it says, hold it down at this end, the big end. And it says, start to fill it like you do a, a new tube of toothpaste. And then it said, turn it around and fill the other side. There we go. So I don't know if that looks right or not, but <laughs> that doesn't look bad. Okay, now I'm gonna do a chocolate. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Just like that. I wonder if they ever do one half and half, you know, like half with, but I guess it wouldn't matter because if you bite out of one end or the other. But um, Kevin and I are gonna take this over to the table and the rainbow cookies and then we'll talk about it more and give it a try. So I wanna tell you a little bit about the company first. It says having just passed its 127th year anniversary, this famous landmark was established in 1894 by its founder, Antonio Venero. When he operated his establishment, it was a pool emporium and cafe where he served his baked products to his customers. Later, the demand for his Italian pastries and cakes won him awards in Rome, Bologna, and at the New York World's Fair, which is so cool. Today, the pastry shop and cafe has many of its original details, including hand-stamped metal ceilings, specially designed etched glass doors, highly polished wood mirrors, and ornate marble floors, which has since been restored after almost a century of wear. Upon entering the pastry shop, you are greeted by a wonderful display of traditional and regional Italian confections, a vast variety of large and miniature pastries, and assortments of handmade Italian butter cookies. Take in the aroma of the freshly baked biscotti, as well as the traditional cheesecakes and specialty cakes. A full 40 feet of ecstasy for the dessert lover. I think that's one thing that's so cool about Dan and Connie living in New York. Is So for me, just getting to go to these different places would be awesome. But I would also be looking at all those details everywhere uh, because I love that. Um, so, like I said, they are located at 342 East 11th Street between 1st and 2nd Avenue. Uh, they're open Sunday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. So, if you're in New York, then you'll have to give them a try. We are going to be trying the Rainbow Cookies first. They are completely um, surrounded on the edges with chocolate. That's good. Mm. 
much better than the last ones we reviewed on the channel. I love the raspberry. Mm -hmm. The raspberry is really good. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have almost like a not quite gritty texture, but almost like a marzipan kind of mm -hmm. texture, except it's in like a cake. Well, it's um, they're made of um, almond paste, and so you're getting. So that's what you're getting is that texture. Of yeah, paste. that gritty texture of almond paste. But not gritty like sand either. I'm just no. saying the texture's just got a, a little bit of a, of a, a roughness to it. No, it's a good it's a good gritty. We mm -hmm. like that. We we like that that gritty texture um, that gives your teeth something to sink into. But you taste a little bit of the chocolate, but you really just taste the almond and the. Um, uh, the raspberry, yeah, that raspberry, the biggest part. yeah, it's very fresh uh, and strong flavor, but those are delicious. Mm -hmm. really. They're very, very good. They're, they're dense, mm -hmm. um, a little on the dry side, but it's probably just how they are. Yeah. I mean, it's just how they're made. Yeah. Um, but they're, I think they're really good. I think they're delicious. And that box is enough for like, like if you had a three tier tray, oh, that box yeah. is absolutely, it's heavy. Yeah, you can sit that out for a party. Yes, and it's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So now we're gonna try the uh, cannelli. Do you wanna try vanilla or chocolate? The vanilla. Vanilla. Go for it, cause I wonder how, if these are gonna shatter or what. We have had, tell them, do you remember? We, what was the name of the place? Brooklyn Pizza. Brooklyn Pizza, we, there's a Brooklyn Pizza in Lexington that we had uh, cannoli. We thought, oh, cannoli, that we never had a cannoli before. So we ordered one. It, that's heavy. Um, it was greasy. It wasn't very sweet. Um, it was just, eh, it was just okay. That flavor is a surprise. I did not expect that. It's cinnamon. Hmm. Yeah, I did not expect that. That shell is uh, full of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. It's good. The cream is really thick. That's what I was gonna do. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the cream. It's it's very. Um, you know. Very cinnamony. You know what? It's it's thick, but it's not sweet. It's mm -hmm. not overly sweet at all. No, it's still not sweet. Like no, it's not. So we wondered if the ones we had from Brooklyn Pizza were like, that's not very sweet. It's not a very sweet dessert. Mm -hmm. And so we thought we didn't know if we had the, the real experience or not. I do not remember the shell being cinnamon. It might have been. Though. It I might have been. Remember. It's been so many years ago. Yeah. They were here. They were in Lexington years ago and they're not there anymore. Um, and that was the last one we ate. Yeah, we haven't eaten ago. one since. I mean, it's been, you're talking probably... 15 years no, ago literally. at least. Um, but that, that, I hate to say it, that reminds me of those. Yes, except, because it's not sweet. Except those had a greasy fried taste. I uh -huh. don't get that dirty no. grease from these at no, all. No, I, I like it, but it surprises me that apparently it's not supposed to be yeah, really it's over. True. It's not like when you see that that white part. Yeah, you're you, thinking of a frosting. Buttercream. Yeah. yeah, you think, oh, that's going to be like buttercream frosting or something like that. It's going to be like a cake frosting, a bakery cake. It's not. No, it's um, a really thick cream. Yes. Okay, chocolate. Yeah, now I'm interested in this one. Oh, they do shatter, by the way. Mm -mm. I'd say most people just let it fall. <laughs> I love the texture. The texture of that shell. It's gritty as well. It's incredible. Oh, the cream's pretty. It, um, I and mean, there is a fried flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Definitely a fried flavor to it, but I love it. It's, um, it's absolutely delicious, but honestly, the cinnamon is, is the utmost flavor. That's the topmost flavor. That is what you get when you first bite into it, and that's what I'm left with right now, mm -hmm. is cinnamon. Yeah, I like the chocolate one better. I do too. They're still not very sweet. Mm -hmm. And that cream does have a, like a, a gritty kind of texture, like a, has like a little texture to it. Mm-hmm. It's thick. It's very, very thick it, cream. It would remind you of a pudding, but it is a very, very, it's a thicker it's super pudding. super thick. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think those are 
better than what we had, better than what I remember just because I do like the flavor of that, the shell itself. To me, it does taste like it's been deep fried, but I like that. It, it doesn't does. taste like, like old. That, that's why the, the ones we tried before tasted like old. And it might have been. Up it grease, might have you know. been. Uh, but this does taste greasy, which I like. We like funnel cakes. We love fried yeah, desserts. It definitely has a fried flavor. Um, I like the fried flavor. I like the cinnamon flavor. The uh, filling is, uh, it does come as a surprise though because it's its not a sweet dessert. So if you're one of these people who you don't want syrupy, syrupy sweet, that would be a good dessert for yeah. you to have because it's not very sweet. Um, the rainbow cookies are delicious. Yeah, the rainbow cookies. Actually, the rainbow cookies are sweeter than uh, the than rainbow cookie. Way. Yes, they, they truly are. To me, they are too. Mm -hmm. They're sweeter than the cannoli, but they do have a lot of other flavors going on too, right. besides just cinnamon. Exactly. Um, but I think this is awesome. I think it's awesome that that's the day, you know, the age we're living in now that it, pretty much anywhere you go, you can get something delivered right to your home. Even something that's this fresh like this. And you saw, if I can do it, anybody can do it. It was not oh, hard. Crazy, yeah. And each one of those tubes that I showed you fills three shells. So it's the perfect amount. You're going to have three vanilla and you're going to have three chocolate. So, oh, and you mentioned chocolate chips. I didn't get, I see the little no. dots in there, but I never got the no. flavor or even the oh, texture wait. of a chocolate okay, chip. Okay, here's, there. here's, here's one. You know why? Because it's, it's just like, it's the, it's, it's really soft. It's soft. It's basically the same texture. It's, yeah, as the cream. it's soft. So you really don't get okay. a chocolate. I, just I didn't get the flavor or the texture. So. Mm -mm. so, Dan and Connie, thank you so, so very much for, um, to, for spending so much money on us. It's it gets very expensive to ship uh, through Go Belly, and I appreciate you very much doing this for us. I hope everyone else enjoyed the video, and if you've ever been to Veneros, you will have to let us know, and thanks for watching.